All right, hello. All right, today we'll go play a Hungarian game. Uh, and hopefully, I'm saying the name right. Uh, Sir Rosa. Uh, I'll have the name of it uh, as the video, of course. Which uh, correct me if I'm saying it wrong. All right, so um, what you're gonna need to play this game is a uh, 32 card deck um, of German playing cards. Um, it actually um, you're supposed to use Hungarian cards, but if you don't have what's called as the William Tell deck, you can just use regular German cards. What's I happen to have a Hungarian deck right here. All right, and um, a little bit of look what the cards look like. Uh, here's the back, by the way, if you're wondering. And here's the cards. So you have the suits, which are, um, have the pips, and the number and Roman numerals. So these are bells. You have acorns, leaves, and um, more bells, hearts. All right. And this, by the way, is what ace looks like. The ace will have um, two pips, a uh, pip in either corner, and a decorative design in it. So that's uh, what they look like, and um, the number cards are just uh, numbered like that. All right, and here are the other cards. So here's a uh, ace again, so ace right there. All right, and then we have um, I don't know the names in German, but uh, we have the um, what's called the uh, underjack. Then we have the overjack and the king. Now, uh, the underjack, you can tell because the pips will um, be towards the center of the card. And then we have with the overjack, the pips will be off in the corner. And then with the king, the pips will also be off in the corner, but it will be on a horse or always have a crown on it. And that's how you're able to tell the difference. Alright, so <clears throat> the purpose of the, the um, how you win the game, excuse me, is to capture as many um, aces and tens. Alright, so first what you're going to do is choose a dealer and um, shuffle and deal four card seats player. And the dealer will be, uh, again, the first trick. And uh, the dealer is going to look and sevens are wild, by the way. Here's the seven. That's leaves. Alright, <clears throat> now <clears throat> what matters is not the suit, but the rank. So, for example, I'm going to play a 10. So I lead the trick. Next player does not have a 7 or a 10. So 7s are wild, and 10 is what the card is, so I'm going to play a 9. That player would, because it's worth no points. Alright, so then this player does have a 10. Also a 7. But save the 7th player and play a 10. And then player number 4... Uh, does not have a 10 or a 7, so we'll also play a 9 like player 2. Alright, so this is who won the trick. Player 3, if this was a free fall, you can play in teams of 2, uh, but a uh, 4 player free fall is certainly uh, understandable. So player 2 won because he was the last one to play a 10 card. So whoever is the last player to have played the leading rank card wins the trick and would uh, deal and begin the next trick. Um, so, um, what you do then is, um, oh, excuse me, you don't shuffle the cards after the next trick. You lead, take these cards aside, whoever won them, and you keep on going till the deck uh, is diminished. Um, now, for example, if, let's say, player four had also played a 10. Player four would have won in this case. Now, if no one played a 10 except for the lead uh, trick, then that player would win. Now, since the dealer did not win, the dealer has, or the trick leader, has a couple of options. He can just let it stand and let the other opponent take the cards. Uh, he'd be giving up points in that case, but you never know. But you know, if the worthless man's will give them away, <clears throat> or can continue the trick. So you leave these here. Now he would, I would need a ten or a seven. Now I don't have another ten, but I do have a seven. So I'll play a seven, and then it will go around again on who has what as another trick. 
So, play seven there. And play a uh, king. All right. So, because uh, playing seven as ten led to an, into a second trick. Uh, player two had won this trick as well, because they also have a seven. They use as a wild for uh, a ten. Now the dealer can choose to go again, and the dealer can keep on doing this till there are no more cards in nobody's hand, until the dealer chooses to stop and lets the other play player uh, go, or if the dealer is unable to play another card. You can't play um, uh, another trick if you do not have a card. So since this, the dealer does not have a 10 or a 7, it's game over, and player 2 wins. And we, then we go on to the next trick. And these cards will be placed off to the side in player 2 or player 2's team pile to be counted at the end of the game. And then at the end of that trick, beginning with the player who won that trick, would deal up back up to 4 cards, either counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever you prefer. And uh, once you get to the bottom of the deck, um, you add up the score, whether it be teams or um, uh, individual players. Uh, aces and uh, tens, like I said, uh, are worth uh, 10 points. So there are a possibility of 80 points in a pack of cards. And um, what you do is you count out who has um, the majority, how many points they have. Now, if the winner took 40 to 70 points, they get one point on the score sheet. If they take 80 points, but not all the cards, they get two points. And the, play, the losers are said to be bald. Uh, if the winner takes every trick, they get three points, and the loser is said to be naked. So, and the first team or player to get to five points wins. Um, as many hands uh, as it takes, you just uh, when you run out of cards at the end of it, you just shuffle again and keep on going. Um, you can play as far to ten points or wherever you like, and um, it's a pretty fun game. If you have trouble finding German playing cards, uh, let me know. And um, I can uh, help you. And I hope you enjoy this game. It's pretty fun. And take it easy.